Gilead announcing plans to launch a generic version of one of its key drugs. Our Meg Terrell joins us now with more details. Meg. Hey, Sarah. Well, it's a new twist in the saga of drug pricing. Gilead says it plans to introduce lower priced versions of its top selling hepatitis C drugs. Now, how much lower? $50,000 at least on the sticker price. It's doing so by introducing authorized generic versions of the medicines. They'll be identical just without the brand names. Mylan, of course, did this in 2016 with the EpiPen after its price increases sparked outrage. Gilead was in the drug pricing spotlight even earlier than Mylan after it introduced its groundbreaking hepatitis C treatment, Sovaldi, at the end of 2013. It was groundbreaking because it offered a cure for the viral disease in just 12 weeks. But its price raised a lot of eyebrows, $84,000, or what broke down to $1,000 a pill. Since then, though, through discounts and rebates, Gilead says the average price paid for its hepatitis C drugs has decreased by more than 60 percent. But it says because of the complexity of the U.S. health care system, patients weren't always seeing those savings. Now, Evercore ISI analyst Umar Rafat says Gilead's move appears to be focused on reducing out-of-pocket costs for Medicare patients and could also shift market share in Medicaid. He points out Gilead's competitor, AbbVie, has 70% of sales to government entities like Medicare, Medicaid, and the VA. And he says it's hard to imagine that Gilead could make a move like this and that its competitor wouldn't respond. So the question now is, guys, are we about to see a new price war in hepatitis C drugs? Sarah and Wolf. I'm just wondering, Meg, whose revenues this hits? Is it a Gilead or is it a drug distributor? I mean, who, who eats the cost? That's a really great question. Most folks don't think this necessarily is going to hurt Gilead because it says it already was seeing those kinds of discounts on its drugs. Who it could potentially affect are distributors, as you mentioned, potentially PBMs, depending on how much they were benefiting from those rebates that were getting paid on the branded drugs. Um, so it says a lot about the, the whole drug supply chain uh, that this might not affect the drug maker itself.